Hi, Jeff Ludy here with Houston Window Experts. Today we're going to talk about why windows leak. It happens and we want to discuss it. I'm here with Jeremy Devereaux. He is our senior project manager. He's over all of our crews of 20 something guys, five crews putting in windows. You've been doing this 31 years. Yes. Right? And you're an AMA certified master instructor. Correct. You actually teach people how to be master installers. Just like you can be a, a master plumber, or a master electrician. In my industry, we actually have courses for that. So Jeremy has a lot of experience in this. Uh, you've installed maybe what, 200,000, 500,000 windows in your career? Gosh, a lot, I'm not sure. Yeah. But windows leak. They do, Right. houses and, have issues. Yeah. And techniques over the years have been developed and they get better and better and better. Right. So uh, we wanna show you, this is part of a, a video for you to understand how you can install windows and not have them leak. And also to understand how we do things differently than most window installers do. So it can help you appreciate that why, why it is it we charge more for our installations because there's more time and more money involved. So Jeremy, show us first of all the problem after people have replaced their window. But let's start by talking about a typical window install on a house when it's brand new. Right. Here's a window. Explain on that. So this, this has a nail flange and when you frame a house, you're able to put Tyvek over it and then cut up cut an opening in the Tyvek. This is not done properly. This, we're just gonna use this for a quick demonstration. But you put this here, it's, it's back caulked all in behind here, and you're able to, to push it there flat and mount it through here, and then put flashing tape around it. We actually cut our 45s and flap this over the top so we have a good drainage plane. That's the way we do it. And, but after all that flashing tape's on there, if water gets behind your siding, this is replicating or, or plate, your brick or brick. I mean, it can happen with brick too. It, it or will. Stucco. It will. Any mm. of it. But that's what the Tyvek is for. So if water gets up here from the roof from wherever, it comes down and it stays on the outside and it rolls down the wall like it should, having a proper drainage plate. instead of coming in. Exactly. Okay. That's so it. this is a nail flange installation like you would get in a new construction. Right. And by the way, after this video. We're gonna do that step by step over here in this opening. There's another opening behind here. So we'll you know, click on that so you can understand if you're putting in new windows, the, uh, the best way to install a new window. Okay, so, so that's how it was. And then we tore out, somebody tears out your window. Right. Now they're going to destroy that seal, right? Because right. that window's gonna come out flange and all. Exactly. They're, gonna, they're gonna destroy that seal. And now things aren't the same as they were on the original installation. Right. So show us, explain here what you've done with these little bands. So. I'm just showing points that water can come in. The first one is always just the trim board that's around the window. Um, siding guys usually don't caulk this. The reason is that window had a nail flange. It wasn't Didn't necessary. It. Mm -hmm. Well, now when it rains here, the water gets behind here and it sits right on top of our window. So water rolls down into this opening. All your boards are exposed, all that. If it gets in higher behind the siding, same thing. It comes into that same opening, which is exposing all this to water. So and the Tyvek still does a job, right. right? None of this here behind that band is, is in danger because it can get wet back there, but the Tyvek sends it down. Right. Water's always going to go down, right? It's going right. to find a <laughs> path, right. of path of least resistance. But what you're saying is once it sits on the window, because we're going to show you in a minute how people install a window, they don't do anything to protect this. So water's going to sit here, right? And right. then it's going to probably do this exactly and it's going to accumulate on top of this window it's going to run down the sides and we're going to do a water demo in a minute and then it's going to get this wet it's going to puddle down here and then all of this cheat rock is going to start soaking up water which eventually comes into the house rots your wood creates mold mildew issues things like that am i right that's exactly can you right. squirt some water up there so they can actually see the water do the work sure can So here's a sample of what happens when water gets behind the window. And by the so, way, your house should not get water behind the window, right? Right, I mean, this, exactly. This is the exception to the rule. Most houses don't have this issue, but they can. Right, so just show you how fast it's coming out there. Okay. See okay, how fast? Right away. That yeah, was one right squirt. Away. Okay, do it again so the can, camera can see this. Okay, there's water. You can see the water coming down. Okay, so water would come down. It would hit the top of that window it'd go around the side of those windows or start wicking in. Right. Okay. If, if it had a flange, it would send it around and it would stay outside the tie vet like this. Perfect. But it won't do that. Okay, good. Oh, so also, hey, can you come get a close up of this? See, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy's showing you how 
if it, if it goes outside the window, okay, it's going to, uh, if it's, right there, if yeah. it's outside the Tyvek, it's going to end up coming on the Tyvek, all right, but it could also find its way right behind the Tyvek, because the Tyvek is now missing there, and you can see that it would get, it see, here's, here's, the, here's the Tyvek. It would be yeah. behind the Tyvek getting your wall wet too. So it's not just a risk of the perimeter, it's a risk of the wall itself right. also getting wet. And a lot of houses, older houses, didn't use Tyvek. That's right. They have that kind of black felt paper. Right. It, the Tyvek does a better job, obviously. It does, it mm -hmm. does. But that's, that stuff did work if right. there wasn't a major problem. Okay, so let's here. show how people, most of our competitors, install a window. And this is what we call a block frame window because a block frame window no longer has a nailing fin. Here's where the nailing fin used to go. And they have a tool that they use to cut off the nailing fin because all windows are made with a nailing fin originally that gets removed. And this is the top of the window where we're talking about water's, water's gonna sit. So Jeremy, you okay. clean that up. That's right. right. Up. You go on the other side and I'll do this. So a window will go into that opening and it's gonna sit against the, the uh, sheetrock on the back, okay? And most window companies caulk that and then they also put a bead of caulking on the outside. So Jeremy's putting the screws in there. So since we're going to pull this window up to show you how wide it's going to be behind there, we're just putting two screws in it. Normally a window would have at least six screws in it. Yeah. All right. So Jeremy, let's go ahead and caulk it on the inside and the outside, just like most window companies would. By the way, we're using really good OSI caulking, even though this is just a demo and we're going to pull it out in a minute. So some companies will be nice to you and they'll actually squirt some foam in behind any gaps they can get to. We also do that, but some, some people, that's, all, that's what they can do. That's the best they can do. And a lot of companies don't even bother with that. Oh, and while Jeremy's finishing that caulking, I just want to let you know that if you're looking for a great window company near you, we've created a list of them. You can go to jeffslist.com and see if we've got somebody near you. Jeremy, you've caulked the entire window, inside and out. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna let that cure a little bit. Um, this caulking, by the way, sets up in just a matter of minutes. In fact, there's a demo uh, you can find on YouTube where it's actually, they're squirting caulking into a, a cup of water and right. it still works. So this, this, is gonna, this is gonna be ready to demonstrate here in about five minutes. So Jeremy, now let's talk about how we do it. Here's a second opening. The challenge, of course, we said is um, the fact that the window doesn't have a nail fin. So let's show them how we would do an installation instead. Okay, so, so we, want, we don't want water to sit here. We want it to get back to the outside of the Tyvek, which is the natural drainage plane of the house. So we're gonna come in here with our flashing tape and create a seal pan. And here, let me go ahead and peel this. So I see it's gonna go up against the back of that wood that we are concerned about getting exposed, correct? Right, we have this leg mm -hmm. so that it's a back dam, so it will not come into the house if water ever gets into this opening. And usually they're siding here and stuff too, so it'll just kind of tuck down like this whether there's, there's brick or, or whatever this is, the key is to get it on this side of the paper here so the water can drain like it should. So okay. that'll, that'll be the bottom there. Okay, then you're gonna do the sides. For the sake of time, we've pre-cut this stuff. Nice and sticky on the back of that too, I notice. It's very sticky. So this overlaps into our seal pan here. So the water will just continually run down. So the bottom needs to go on first. That's right. So these sides overlap that bottom. Alma calls it a weatherboard fashion. It's the shingle effect. You always start at the bottom so it continues to Continu overlap. One overlaps onto the other. Same way you do siding. Right. The back of the sheet rock is something that you just don't want to get wet. So that's why we've turned a little leg there to kind of help protect that as well. Next is the most important part, and that's the head flashing. Okay. We use a, a rigid head flashing, metal, because 
if we put tape up there, the back is sticky and if water ever sits there, it's just gonna wear it's it gonna out. It's gonna eventually. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we want this to come up here and I'm gonna seal it up here in a minute, but we want that water that comes down to sit on top of this. Instead of the window, the head of the right. window. Right, because the window will be under here and then this will run it over to the sides. We're gonna leave a little gap on each side so that the water will stay in that natural drainage plane and stay outside of the house. Okay, so us how you install that. Okay. So I put a really big bead up here. Between the top, the head here, and the sheetrock, correct? Yes. So no water can get to that sheetrock. If you can just, we'll stick this up here. We'll split the difference so that we have a little gap on each side. We'll roll that up and it's pushing up into that. See it oozing mm -hmm, out there? Mm -hmm. So any water that gets up there, if it tries to run that way, it's just not gonna be able to travel. Okay. So I like to use these little screws here to, to put it in place. It's like a little self-tapping uh, sheet metal screw. Oh, I like how that's squirting out exactly. already. Kind of reminds me of trying to eat a s'more. <laughs> Oh yeah, but this doesn't taste very good. So the reason I'm gonna do this one is just in case this water comes this way and mm -hmm. happens to roll under okay. and gets on top, okay. we do this and we, we cover this sheetrock as well. Uh, so you're, you're kind of putting some redundancy to this process. Right. And we're expecting the worst, right? Preparing for the worst. Exactly, I'm gonna smooth that down in a second. Okay but then we want to back caulk this as well. That gives us a nice seal. A good connection between the exactly. frame of the window and the tape that we put on. No chance of the, of the water now getting behind our window. I'm loving this already. What I like about this, Jeremy, it's just quite evident now that you're going to have a seal between that that window right here on the caulking and then also we're going to caulk the inside here in just a minute right up against this edge of the sheetrock so it'll be it'll be caulking to caulking to frame to house it's just not going to be any way for water to get through here when we're done and you know this takes an extra 10 minutes on a house and that's why a lot of window companies don't like to do it you know time is money right but coming back two years later to fix a big leak is money too that's <laughs> And usually a lot more money because maybe you have a, a flooring issue now or a rot or something else going on behind the windows. So I just like to smooth this one down so I make sure my sheetrock is covered 100%. Perfect. Okay, so window like goes sponge. next. Window goes next. All right. Okay, so we have another window just like the first one. This does not have an alien flange on. It's been removed. Jeremy's inside. He's going to help me get it lined up. We're going to go top first. So we're pushing against that really good. And then we're gonna put the window in. And you can notice right here that we actually have contact on all four sides with our caulking that's behind there. So that's great. So Jeremy's gonna screw the window in now. By the way, for this window and all the windows we install, we use a three and an eighth inch long counter, counter thread uh, polymer coated screw. So Jeremy's caulked the inside of this window as well. We're not going to caulk the outside on this one and we didn't put siding out here either because we want you to see really clearly what happens when water runs down our window. In just a minute we're going to do a water test over there. So tell us Jeremy, what are you going to do? So basically, you know, that's what we've been talking about when we shot water here. Okay. If it, if it was up here, it's going to come down and and sit on our head flashing. Yeah, Jeremy, show them right up here how that water's sitting on that flashing. Lays back there, getting some footage of that. You see all the water sitting there. And then it does come forward instead of going into the house. That's the whole idea here. Jeremy, make sure you squirt into the corners and everything so they can see what we're doing and see how it's running down here. It's running down that tape instead of running down that board and getting the board wet. And it just eventually, keeps coming and coming and coming. You can see it's all coming out down here. It's all coming onto our tape. And instead of going into the house or instead of sitting on that bottom board, it's just going to roll off and shed. Look at all the water coming down the wall here. That's the whole idea, right? Keep That's the exactly water outside the house. Exactly. Okay, let's switch to that one now. Let's give it the same torture test. 
Let's put a bunch of water in there. In just a minute, you're going to see that we're going to pull this window out and we're going to show you where the water was getting into. And sometimes if you get rain like we do in Houston, it's going to be a lot worse than this because you, know, you could have rain for two days straight. So imagine how much water could get behind there and how much that's going to do damage to your home. Okay, Jeremy, so I okay. see it's coming out there. Mm -hmm. It's coming through here. And in fact, now we're going to see that this caulking in some ways actually hurt. Right. Had it not been there, possibly the water could have rolled out. But then, of course, you're going to have an ugly installation. All right, so we've put some water to it. Let's go ahead and take this window out and let's show them what happened back there. You okay. ready? Yep. Okay. You go inside and stand right here. Whoa, you, you look ready? at this. Look at this. Okay. Can Clay see this hey, water? Clay, come inside. Look, look, it's really dripping in there. Okay, so Jeremy, so Jeremy, look. I want you to go ahead and start taking that window out and so, you can hand it over here towards me. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a bunch of water that came into the inside. Can you see looking through the window here? Oh Jim? yeah, I can see, see, all see that. This? Okay, so watch up there at the top as he pushes the window out. Okay, excellent. Uh, right up here in the top of the window, look, I got a lot of water. Of course, there's clocking on there too now, but look at all the water dripping off my finger. See yeah. that? My hands are wet. It's, it's wet like, out here. Your yeah. hands are wet? Yep. Hey, Clay, come look at this side over here. Check this out. See if you can get some, see if you can get some footage up there so people can see this water. There's water up here on the head of that window. All right, Jeremy, let's keep coming out with the window now. Push it to me. All right. Okay. And I'm going to get caulking all over my hand. I got it. You I, got it? Yeah, I don't want you to Okay, get it. okay. Don't get so it. This is a mess. All right, thank you it for does your not, help there. Does not check come out, off check out the top. Check out the top. See that water right there? That's what we're talking about. The water actually got trapped in here now between the outside and the inside, and then it ran down and it started going to the bottom, and then it sat on that window sill and started to rot that. And also, if any water was coming down here, this protected it against the bottom of the sheetrock, but not the top. The sheetrock sat right here, so eventually, this water would start wicking in to the house and you would have a sheetrock issue there. Look at this though. This, all this happened from dripping from the top. This is a lot of people. So this is exactly what happens. Clay, if you can show the top, see it, the water. The sheetrock's already soaking the it up. The water touched this because it sat on top of the window and this sucks it in like a sponge. See how it brought it in about a half of an inch or so. And that's and then, in a span of what, five minutes, Jeremy? That was not even five minutes. And then, and then it just started dripping here. So you have a puddle. Most people call and say the bottom of my window's leaking. Well, we usually know that that's never true because window doesn't leak up. The water doesn't leak up. It drips from the top. People don't see that. So this is exactly why we do what we do. Yeah, we don't want you to call us unless it's to buy more windows. Okay, <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you. And if you need somebody in your area that does a really good job of installing windows, don't forget to go check out jeffslist.com, jeffslist.com, and you can find somebody there. Jeremy, thank you so much. I'd shake your hand, but I got a little caulking on it. Thank, thank you for you. watching this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Jeff's List.